so palate cleanser next week or... <laughs> uh, I got you babe yeah yeah <laughs> Liam's not here ready to make those jokes for him <laughs> So we're like aware that a time loop is happening. Yes. We don't know why it's happening. By this point. Yes. If you yes. talk to yeah. a marshmallow friend. Uh, oh mm -hmm. yeah, look at the can of marshmallows. Just like <laughs> logistically, what is that before you open it? <laughs> I can. Chris, for, for what it's worth, the there is one other Harthian who is aware of the time loop. None of the others are. Yeah. So. Um, it started when a statue uh, made by the Nomai, turned and looked at us and absorbed all of our memories. Oh. Um, and that happened to one other uh, person from this planet. Hey, that looks like the quantum the moon. Quantum moon. Yep. According to J.K. Rowling, the, the experience between us and the statue was an intensely sexual relationship. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't look it? up. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so they really need the that shuttle in order to do that right, huh? You will learn more about the quantum moon and how you'll, you'll learn more about quantum. Yeah, I figured. We need more information. Mm -hmm. But I believe the actual like in-game explanation is that like the atmosphere of the clouds like obscures your vision such that it causes it to. Mm -hmm. You gonna try the eye of the storm now? I don't know about the eye of the storm. I'm thinking Gabra. Yeah, I would yes, I, I will do. I will have to do the Eye of the Storm at some point. I know. <laughs> the interior is probably not going to happen. Yeah, interior is probably not going to happen either because there's a big car blocking you. Yes. So. The dark brangle one, yeah. Uh, we tried to, but I failed at platforming. I could try it again, I suppose. No, that's fine. Yeah, I just missed I didn't remember where he was. He was not here. He's not on this island, yeah. No. Yeah. However... Probably, maybe talk to him first and then try, try the platforming. Yeah. Yeah. Which, um, I wonder if I can... Called Gabra's Island here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You also should be able to listen for him. Right. Yes. Down. I forget what he plays. Bando? No, he, he plays the butt plug. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's right there. Convenient. Okay, and I'm suited up. Hey Chris, there's also this invisible thing called ghost matter. If you get near it, you die. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. And you, can only, and you can only see it by taking a picture of it. Which, by the way, I finally got what you were getting at. <laughs> Sean, when mm -hmm. you said it's ghost matter, it's in the name. Yeah. <laughs> Which is yeah. It's the ghosts of the Nomai. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is my theory. <laughs> also, tell me I'm wrong, and he's not playing a butt plug. It's a butt trumpet. I think it's, it's a, a clarinet. Plug. It's, like, it's like a mechanism for like amplifying farts. You know what? I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> that just got recorded. That's going to go on the internet. Me saying it that sure it's going to go on the internet. It sure is. It sure is. 
this dude is another astronaut yep. guy. And he He's is fully hunter. aware of what's happening. Also, we are getting lifted. And he doesn't care. He's just going to keep lying there. How is he playing a wind instrument in the vacuum of space through a helmet? Uh, kind of monotonously. Like, he would like floats up. Is he, he like attached by a rope? Yes. No, no, no. Oh, no he's... Okay. <laughs> he just doesn't give a shit anymore. They just don't yeah. give a shit anymore. Sorry. They're all yes. they them. Yes. Can't but his name is Gavin, Wait, you should, I think you should ask him how he stays so calm. <laughs> Lots of wee. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's right in the name. Yeah. <laughs> also, why is he got like a Teletubby windbane thing going on? Shit, why do they have? <laughs> we are really bad at remembering to gender them correctly. Nobody's. This is now your new feature. It's basically meditate to suicide. <laughs> if you need to quickly end the loop and restart it, you can just go into the menu and do meditate now. Okay. It becomes, it's a small thing, but it's really convenient when you're like, I'm stuck in giant right. and I can't get anywhere. Right, and I don't, and I don't want to continue doing. Exactly, yeah. Uh -huh. Meditating until death is really convenient if you're just kind of done. Also that, yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Cool. Meditating until death is just really kind of convenient. <laughs> Super metal. Sean on the internet. <laughs> uh, why don't you go where the sun don't shine? I mean, the sunless city. I, you do, I there think is definitely it. No, oh, there is no. one to explore. Okay. Yeah, because we didn't. Because it's no, also the, the pathway to the high energy. Lab, yeah, yeah, you should. The high energy lab is actually a thing you should go to eventually. Okay. Um, and, and I would say the thing inside the the eye of the storm is also high priority if you want me to minorly spoil things. But it's okay. a um, <laughs> I gotta be honest. Really, just wanted to say, why don't you go where the sun don't shine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just full disclosure, I do not remember what's in the middle of the eye of the storm. I'm also curious about the interloper. Just because it's one of the few things we haven't looked at at all. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, last time you tried, yeah, last yeah. time you tried to go there, it interloped right past you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> also, is that the quantum moon, the moon that it says we haven't been to? Yes. Or it? So it? Oh no! no. So there it looks like there's a moon of um. If you go that one. That hollows lantern. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess I did know that. Yeah, we could try that. Um. I was thinking of going to the Sunless City and trying right. to get to the High Energy Lab. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Okay. They're passing in front of the sun, right? If I autopilot, I will not go directly into the sun. You might not. Worst case scenario, you get an achievement for the the platform where you don't have achievements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing for Chris, the autopilot is will shamelessly drag you into the sun. Yes. Nice. We just do straight lines. <laughs> yeah. There's. I have. Well, sometimes autopilot screws up and it just smashes you full force into the planet. <laughs> in particular, it is not to be trusted with the interloper because the interloper changes speeds a lot, so it throws off the autopilot all the time. So, just a note. Got your suit on? Suit on. Yes. <laughs> Man, you guys aren't cheering for her to do that. Like, <laughs> like my spectators were like cheering. You already got that. that. <laughs> so that. Yeah. you, yeah, you already, you already got what you wanted from that. So. Uh... Oh yeah, did you read the the big thing on the right? 
the this the, the left, left, left. That one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I did. In the in the VOD, it did not look like you ever actually stopped to look right at it. Oh no, I think I, I think I did, and it was just very quick. Yeah, it's really quick. Yeah. As <laughs> I noticed, it was just just an emergency escape hatch. Yep. So you do have to move fast here to get yep. here before the yeah. Yep. Just uh, by and large, follow the writings. Mm-hmm. Walk forward till the sandfall, right. turn left. To the sand pole, turn left. So, oh, Chris, for um, the for reference, the ceiling. this planet and the other one are called the Hourglass Twins. This is the Ember Twin, and over the course of the loop, the Ash Twin, re like, drops all of its sand onto the Ember Twin. So, inside the Ember Twin, all the sand is constantly rising. So, it blocks off areas that you want to get to. Gotcha. And because we are in a cave system. Um, Having this area fill up with sand can be uh, inconvenient. For yes, it can actually block off areas you want to go to. So you are, you need to explore this place temporally to, to get everywhere. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And so sometimes when you are less open-ended and you're trying to find specific things, meditate until death is uh, convenient because. Mm -hmm. Once something gets cut off, sometimes you're like, okay, screw it, I'm gonna Yeah, I don't want I don't wanna wait another twenty-two minutes. High energy lab trailhead. But that's where you wanna go, so yeah, I think yeah. you found it already. Yeah. Yeah, just figured turning all the lights on. Is it that mm -hmm. down there? Maybe. I actually don't know. I didn't see <laughs> <laughs> but Yeah, you, you, turning only the one on would have made it more obvious. Yeah. Yes. Stepping yeah, stones. Have you been there before, actually? No. But either way, it's probably. You're, I think Jen's right. It's at the bottom. Because yeah. then why would there be such a focus on getting there quickly? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> High energy lab. Yeah. All right, let's go. Adventure. This is your call to adventure. Excitement. Uh -huh. Six hours in. Uh huh. Uh huh. And it's not terrifying in the slightest. Why would you say that? Why would you suggest it? Don't worry about it. I don't it. expect there to be an anglerfish down here. I gotta say, if something if something reaches out and snaps you up, I will apologize for any amount of making fun of you behind your back. I've, I mean, any making fun of you I've done. <laughs> The sand will always knock you down. Okay, so I have to wait until the sand covers the cactus, which is mm -hmm. happening very quickly. As I think you can get a little bit of jump over the cactus, but you do need to mostly wait. Yeah. Uh, boy. So that limits how much time you can have in a high energy lab. Oh, that's what that looks like. The scout? You didn't. You might have it. Hopefully there's some oxygen down there. Yeah. Nah. Who needs oxygen? Um. 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 Sorry, right, you're trapped. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Not this way. Turn around. Left. Left. Uh. Down and. Oh, wait. Yeah. Turn. Look around the look. Look around the walls. Look right. Look right. Yeah. Put the light on. Um, I think it might be uh, 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 no, no, back, 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 back. Yeah, you no. have to go further back. And then left, left. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. Uh, right, right, right. No, follow, follow the cable now. Uh, you might, oh, oops, that was nope. wrong. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. 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 o
Grizzly uh-huh. death. That was yeah. a cactus squishing. Crunching. <laughs> you know, you got cactus. full on Indiana Jones there. Cactus yeah. phone fa- famous for their crushing bones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take two. Take two. <laughs> they call me in the morning. Oh, that was the pro. <laughs> Just yep. Fine. Yeah. Hey. Got the suit on. Suits on. <laughs> take the suit off and then go crush yourself in the sand. Yeah. Do you no. Ever need to take the suit off in the game? No, I don't think so. Nope. I don't think there's ever a time where taking your suit off is a good idea. Yeah, can you take the suit off if you're not in? I don't. Room? I actually don't know if it's even possible. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know if you can take it off once it's on. I don't think I've ever tried. There's the sun station, moving very quickly around the sun. Yep. Autopilot's gonna steer me directly into the Ash Twin. But like in a good way. Yeah. Never playing uh, autopilot is smart. Think of it more as uh, cruise control. <laughs> okay. Um, there's there prob is. there's probably a faster entry to the Sunless City, isn't there? Probably, but honestly, use what you know. And like, considering that there's a limitation on like on when you can you start, have to, it, it must be X late Ouch. in the loop for you to even enter. Then I don't. Then like, it doesn't actually make a difference if you take a little bit of time getting in. Yeah. So. Well, disclosure: I don't think we ever got into the endless city another way because I don't remember. We always just went this way. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And if we ever entered it via a different way, we probably only did it once. Yeah. And. Yep just took this one because we had memorized it. Mm-hmm. Okay. At least I know where to s- turn so that I don't panic and not see it. To be fair, it's very difficult to see passages in a like full redstone cave like this. This, oh, isn't, this isn't redstone. This is like this is sandstone probably. I mean, none of us saw it, so it's not like I don't think anyone was sitting here being like, I God know where we should be going. But... <laughs> well, maybe <laughs> Jeff might have been having played uh, it before. I, <laughs> I knew approximately that you had to take a different turn and not follow the wire, but I could not have told you beyond that. And I'm <laughs> yeah. that our first I did that. that yeah, I did that like once. I think I got it on my first attempt and then like never tried it again. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah. We definitely died as we did. Yeah. Cool. Refill oxygen here. Mm-hmm. Only turn on. This is it, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. And then walk into every fucking cactus. Everyone. <laughs> Puncture the suit all over. What exactly are you using to patch the suit? Duct tape, cactus probably. Cactus needles. Mm-hmm. Or cactus needles. Cactus juice. Mm-hmm. Juice of the cactus. Andy Weir in the Martian like has an idea for like a patch kit thing, which is like a super hard. It's like a little cup with a resin with resin on it that seals quickly, but like mm-hmm. you can only carry like one. <coughs> Why does this game have to be so good but so fucking terrifying? <laughs> Wait till you get to the DLC. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there is actually an option in the DLC for a less scary version. Oh my yeah. god. And, uh, Dre and I, after a certain point, were like, do you want to flip the less scary version? <laughs> I think I might I have... go for that from the beginning. I'll be real. I have, for what it's worth, it's kind of a different kind of scary, and I never found it all that scary. Granted, I never finished the DLC, but mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I got to what everyone worries about, like, in the scariness, and it didn't actually bother me that much. Granted, I was too <laughs> scared to finish the game, but... 
Well, it was, yeah, it was more like I got distracted before finishing. Granted, I'm just built different. I experience horror movies as a matter of course on principle. I, I, I <laughs> hate horror movies. I don't watch them. I don't know. It's just <laughs> the important question we have here is uh, which is more important to you, your personal comfort or more engaging content? Because I think <laughs> that is really what the toggle choice is. You should give up everything for good content. <laughs> People certainly attempt to. It's a law do. of the internet. Mm -hmm. Content is king. As long as this is going up on the internet. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you already got angler fished out of nowhere, and that was like... Yeah. That experience is kind of scary. Is kind of scarier than anything I encountered in the DLC. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I think the other thing that we liked about the left fairy version is that it slowed things down a bit, so it just also made it slightly like more forgiving in terms of speed. Right. Really hard not to spoil things in describing this. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. Um, not there. There you go. That wasn't so hard. Yeah. Poof. didn't want to take the elevator of death? Not particularly, no. Also, I couldn't. It you don't want to take the elevator down to get up there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was going down. And also... It had a bunch of ghost matter. Yeah. Yeah. Did not catch what happened there. I, just I think I, that you I think I down just there you yeah have, yeah I just hit the ceiling and fell out of the elevator. Woo! I hate when that happens at work. Yeah. Same. But the high energy lab this still feels pretty low key. It's a room. It sure is. Records show no my we're arriving at the warp receiver on Vertal Hall very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Experience tests if there's a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. What we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsed in between something entering the Black Hole and exiting the White Hole at its destination. Our experiment set up will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup of, um, you know, a tiny black hole and a tiny white hole. That is the hypothesis. Does this determine, is this scroll the results? We produce the anomaly in arrival department, but High is con unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. Let's strengthen the effect to render it visible to unaided eyes. This ends up blowing up the solar system. Adding more energy, the sunless ener city's energy supply should prove sufficient. Yara requests that we let know before we reroute energy to the experiment. Before we turn off tower to the whole city. I'd hate to leave them in the dark. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Remy and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed! Hypothesis confirmed! I saw it! I saw it! Hypothesis confirmed! <laughs> What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Wait. If you do shit over there. Did I take the crystals to the right? Oh. Uh, one of them, some of them definitely white holes, and some of them definitely black holes. Yep. Did 
Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Very nifty. It's definitely coming out of the... It creates the duplicate before it finishes entering. Mm -hmm. Is that what's happening in the Bramble? I think so. When I launch the seed into... When I, when I launch the scout into the seed... Hold on, now I'm curious about two black holes. What could go wrong? Oh, it just won't do shit. That's Damn. not fun. They actually accounted for that. I don't up. think the Republican Party wants you to test out. <laughs> black holes. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> the high energy lab says so right in the manual. It's one black hole and one white hole. <laughs> Wait, a 22 minute interval. Hmm. To have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually set the warp. Why we, 22 minutes? Why 22 minutes? We've learned the negative interval of time can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problem out of the energy required to extend it increases at an exponential rate. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible. You're currently unable to generate the necessary en energy unless we use unless the, you sun. Off the sun. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> the only location large enough would be Ash Twin. So, 22 minutes, Ash Twin, enormous energy source. If you go into the Ash Twin, at the end of the supernova, can you go back to the beginning of the loop? Travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use warp towers to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Like those warp points that I just directly moved right over and was like, yep, that's a warp point and there's nothing more to think about this. <laughs> Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. Each tower will warp to a different planet. I grant it to those who know it. the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. Design check to visually reflect its warp. This giant's temper hearth after a geyser mountain. That explains the site on temper hearth. That was a no my mind for the materials that they were transporting to the Ash Twin project. And we can have Bramble, uh, Dark Bramble represents Satan's asshole. Uh huh. <laughs> Before you go from here, there's one thing I'm curious about. Is this what the happens exit? if you. I think so. I'm okay. not sure. But what happens if you take out the black hole core, like when it's halfway through? You like shoot it through the black hole and like, and like yank it out be before it, before it's actually fully through. Uh. <laughs> what have you done? I'm paradox. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what the shit did you do to me? <laughs> me. <laughs> well, uh, Alexander, next week. Jesus. This is like my favorite. This is like my favorite game over screen you can get. I think I doesn't actually delete your save. <laughs> also, the music is stupid, and I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's on a kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> 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 His nibs, Duncan of Retriever. Uh. <laughs> He's his advisors. Someone got an anti thanks. <laughs> 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 Okay. 
anyway, I hope we all learned something there. <laughs>